Hey everybody, Greg here, and today is Saturday, June 20th, 2020. This is a short video to introduce you to one of the basic functions of a Windows computer, and that is the ability to size and move windows around, program windows. And for this example, I'm going to go to the Chrome browser the Chrome browser is a program that helps us look at content on the internet. And maybe if you're using something like Yahoo email, it would let you look at your email. And sometimes you want to move a program window around on your computer screen. To move a window around on the screen, we're going to click in this area, in this gray area up here, and then click and hold the left mouse button. Or if you're using a trackpad, you would be clicking on the left button there and moving it around. So you can see here by clicking in that area and dragging the mouse around, I'm able to move the window left and right, up and down. And what can sometimes happen is a program can get sort of slid off the screen. And I've had a common question come up from people, which is, hey, what do I do when I can't get to my program? It's off the screen. And so it, it's something that people just aren't familiar with, this idea of being able to click and drag the program window back to an area where they can see it. Now, another thing that can happen is that the program window size can change on people. And I'll show you how that's done and how to correct for that. What we're going to do is move the mouse pointer or the trackpad pointer uh, up to the top of the Chrome browser. And you'll notice that the arrow changes shape. Instead of being a diagonal arrow that points sort of northwest up and to the left, it changes to two arrows pointing up and down. That means if when we see that change of the icon shape, if we click and hold the left mouse button or the left trackpad button, click and hold and move down, we'll be resizing that window. We'll be bringing the top down. The same can be done at the bottom here. If I move the mouse to the bottom and I click and hold the left mouse button or the trackpad, move that up or move it down, I'm resizing it up and down. And we can do that on the left and right. If we move that mouse pointer, the pointer over there, you'll see how the arrows change. They're pointing left and right. That means we can click and hold and drag the mouse to resize that window. And also here on the, the right, that can be done. And finally, sort of a pro tip here, or advanced feature, is that you can move your mouse pointer or trackpad pointer to a corner. And you'll notice then the arrows change to be sort of pointing northeast and southwest um, or kind of at, you know, 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock or something. Basically at a diagonal showing that you can move the program window uh, up and down and left and right. So it's, it's a way to size both the width and the height at the same time. You want to be careful if you're doing this up in this right corner because you might accidentally click the close button. You want to be careful of that. So a common question that comes up is sometimes somebody will be going back to do something with their Google browser, the Chrome browser, and all they will see is something like this. So they can't see their web page. They can't see anything. All they see is like this title bar. And people wonder, well, how does that happen? The way it can happen is sometimes a web page will launch a new page. And that new page that gets launched can be defined in terms of the width and the height. That's a, a capability that um, is available. So a web designer can say, oh, I want this pop-up window to open a certain size. And sometimes malicious sites or sites with 
um, advertising and such, they would launch a window in such a small size that you don't even really see what's on the page. And their intention is to get you forwarded from one page to another page to another page to keep forwarding you to websites. And they earn advertising revenue when that happens. And this might even happen in the background. You might have, um, you know, one browser window that's open like this. And then another, if I go in and let's say we open up another browser window. Now this is getting really advanced for some people, but... I just want to show you this, that you can have your primary browser window open and some website you visit could cause a secondary window to open up in that small size and you might not see it. It might be behind your primary browser window. And so when you're done and you exit out of Chrome, I'll say close all windows, and then you go back into Chrome, look what happens. We go back into Chrome and there's this little window that we don't know what to do with. So that is not unusual. That can happen because particularly poorly designed websites or websites with malicious intent can cause these windows to open in the background. And Chrome is trying to help us by opening up the browser window in roughly the same position and size that it was last time. And there's also the possibility of if you have a computer with a trackpad that is erratic, that is not behaving properly, or a mouse that's not behaving properly, it could be that without your intention that the mouse is jumping around and that it's maybe jumping around and resizing something. But the main thing to remember is this. If your program window is off the screen, and you need to bring it back on the screen, move your trackpad or mouse pointer so that it's up here in this area at the top of that window. Then you left click and drag to the left and it brings it back. And then you can point and place the cursor on the right side of the window or the bottom of the window or the you know one of the corners and you can resize that. And notice how even I'm having a little trouble here. I was going to go to the corner, but instead it was clicking on the down arrow to scroll down. So it does take some skill with the mouse, even for somebody with a lot of experience. You know, So don't get frustrated if it doesn't work the very first time. Depending on the computer, depending on the pointer, um, you know, it can take a little bit of skill to develop uh, getting that just right. But that's you know, basically it. Now, one final, I guess, trick or technique I would show you is if the window is resized or pushed off the screen or whatever the case may be, if you want to just get in there and get working and you don't want to fiddle around with these instructions, you can double click. So with the left mouse button or left trackpad button, you'll click twice rapidly. Click, click and that will automatically make the browser window size to the maximum screen available. So it's the same as, you know, clicking the middle button here to maximize the window. Now it doesn't solve your problem of, you know, when it's restored back, it's just going to go back to wherever it was. But at least if you can click on the maximize button, or if the Maximize button isn't visible, if you can click twice in this gray area, see what that's doing? Clicking twice maximizes and restores the window. There you go. So anyway, I hope that these instructions have been helpful. I've tried to go slow and offer very descriptive details about how to make this work. It's something that uh, a person's going to want to write down in their own handwriting and in their own words these steps so that they can refer back to them. When you've practiced this skill and you're comfortable with it, you'll find it's really useful because basically the Windows operating system is based on programs running in these windows. 
and the ability to resize and move the windows. And that's how come it's called Windows. Uh, so this is kind of one of the first basic essential skills that you'll need and need to understand is how to resize windows, how to move windows, how to maximize and how to restore. And also there's this minimize feature, which puts it down here, but it's still kind of running. Um, you you want to practice that and become proficient with that because otherwise uh, things can happen that'll become frustrating and impediments and disruptive to getting work done. Um, and you definitely want to have those basic skills down and some of the, the language as well, because uh, as you're talking to somebody on the phone or in person, they'll be referring to things like maximize and minimize and resizing windows, and you want to know what they're talking about. So you can write down on a piece of paper sort of a glossary of terms um, but anyway, this, uh, I hope will be a good lesson. Uh, I know it's about, uh, 12 minutes long, so I'm going to wrap things up, but feel free to reach out if you'd like some additional instructions on basic or advanced windows operation. Be glad to put together some more of these instructional videos. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribes and likes. And I look forward to sharing more with you again soon. Take care.